Hey guys, Ivan here and this video is going to be really interesting because we got a couple of physique updates of some very, very popular, very important, very high profile bodybuilders like this one Nick Walker and some others like Big Ramy, like Mikael Krizo and I'm telling you, you probably haven't seen all of these photos and updates because some of them were posted on stories of other profiles somehow I stumbled upon a couple of them and they look very interesting I'm gonna show all of them to you we're gonna discuss what we see what these guys are looking like but we're starting as you can see with this one it is Nick Walker with this front relaxed pose there are like five other poses too I'm gonna show them all to you but let's start with this one and let's start with the caption so he says 14 weeks out we crank things up a touch more now and I'm thinking you better do that you better do that at 14 weeks out to me personally he looks kind of soft right I mean you guys can disagree or agree but that's just what I'm seeing now of course 14 weeks is a long time you can change so much in 14 weeks he can work on that hardness and conditioning and everything and he will but in these photos that he posted he doesn't look very impressive and you know some other bodybuilders look much more impressive right now at 14 weeks out did you see big Ramy? at this point in time big Ramy already looks full big pretty lean and really hard he has that hardness he does not look soft he looks really hard really conditioned he looks outstanding he looks great and nick walker is planning on beating this guy if the competition was in two three weeks big Ramy would destroy nick walker but luckily for nick there is 14 weeks left so he can transform his physique in 14 weeks one thing one muscle group that looks really good on his physique in these photos are definitely his arms his arms are looking insanely big those biceps are super peaky the triceps are also hanging low man like those arms are really massive i think he grew them quite a bit from last year i hope it's not gonna hurt his look i hope his arms won't be too big and yes arms can be too big especially if your chest for example is lacking and nick is definitely known for having a weak chest that's his weakest body part and so if your arms are super dominant it may make your chest look even more narrow the same thing was happening if you guys remember with luke sando he had enormous arms and his chest was good it wasn't even as bad as nick's it was a good chest but you can see that it looks kind of smaller compared to the other body parts and he felt the same way he was always talking about his chest how small it looks because of his arms and he was talking about how arms can be too big especially triceps so i'm really worried about nick because in these updates and all the ones before his arms look insanely large now did his chest improve i think it did i think if this guy really wants to improve a body part he has like the craziest genetics for growth and i know how determined he is how 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 crazy his work ethic is and how motivated he is and he really wants that victory he really wants to be the mr olympia so he worked really hard in the off season and he tried to improve his chest every which way and he wasn't like one of those guys who for example are good at benching and they like bench press so they'll do bench press even though he doesn't even target their chest no he was focused on isolation movements on dumbbells and stuff like that if you watch his instagram you follow him you can see that he was really focused on his chest so i'm sure his chest is going to be better but then again his entire body has probably grown as well so it's still gonna be a weaker body part i mean something has to be the weakest right so it's gonna be his chest and i just hope his arms are not too big now as far as, again as far as his uh, current uh, shape like conditioning hardness again he's not super hard right now at 14 weeks out as you can see his chest is like really smooth there are no lines whatsoever and he's doing a side chest pose so he's flexing that chest be sure be sure that he is but there are basically no striations, no separation, nothing is going on. That chest looks pretty dead. And also, as you can see, these photos are higher quality photos. These photos are not taken with a phone, no. These photos were taken by a professional photographer. So if he was taking some high quality photos in the gym, 
I'm assuming and I'm pretty sure that he was doing this after a chest workout because again chest is his lagging body part and of course he would prefer to take these photos after a chest day when his chest is completely pumped so I guess maybe that's why his chest has no separation maybe that's why it looks a little bit bigger and fuller but again it looks really smooth and not just chest but like shoulders too as you can see it all looks smooth and this is a photo with his current coach his uh, nickname on instagram is dom super sliced so i don't know if this guy really knows what he's doing i think matt jensen was doing much better with nick i think at this point at 14 weeks out when he was prepping with matt nick looked better for sure now of course again 14 weeks is a long time but take a look at the others you saw Big Remy take a look at Hunter Labrador right now, Nick's main competition, let's say. He beat him last year by one spot, Nick felt like he should have beaten him. And this is Hunter at 16 weeks out, not 14 like Nick, 16, even more further away from Mr. Olympia. And he looks really hard, look at those shoulders, look at the vascularity, look at the chest, look at everything, like he looks really hard, he has the hardness right now. And he'll be much harder as the show approaches, look at, look at the shoulders here, take a look at this, the vascularity and the chest, and the abs, everything, like he looks lean and hard and full. He looks really good, man. At 16 weeks out, he looks great. And Nick, Nick looks pretty soft. Here's another photo that he posted. I don't even know why he posted this photo. Let's say the only thing that looks decent here is his waistline. But he was always known for posting these kind of photos where he pulls his pants way too low, way too low. And his waist looks kind of small, but on the stage it doesn't look small like this. No, he has a thick waist. But everything else on this photo looks so smooth, so, I don't know, soft. I don't even know why would he post this photo. It doesn't look good. It does not look very good. Not at all. Not at all. It looks smooth. It looks soft. Now, here's the thing, guys. Sometimes bodybuilders, they pace things differently. Like, some of them are blasting it from the start and they stay very lean and that could be the reason why they look good at the beginning some of them others may do a different approach they don't do anything crazy at the start as you can see right now nick is 294 so he's pretty heavy and as the show approaches they add the fat burners more and more one by one and they add the hardening agents they up the doses and as the show approaches, they improve more and more. And in the end, they are looking hard and conditioned. So probably, hopefully, that is the game plan of Nick's coach, not Nick. None of this is Nick's fault. He doesn't look like this because he did something wrong. No, it's his coach. His coach is telling him what to do. And again, I'm thinking they're probably taking it very easy right now at the beginning of the prep. As the show approaches, he gets leaner and harder. And at the end, he looks awesome. Where will he place? That's probably a topic for a different video. I could talk about that for a little bit longer. But I'm guessing probably somewhere in the top five again. As I said, I had a couple of photos that you guys probably haven't even seen yet. And this one, for example, is Nick and his back. Here you can see what his back is looking like. And he really hasn't posted much. He didn't show us his back a lot. And his back was also... I wouldn't say weak, but it wasn't exactly his strongest body part, and right now it definitely does look much improved. This was posted by Nick's posing coach, that's right, Nick even hired a posing coach, he's trying to improve on every level possible, and that's awesome, that's really awesome. So they were practicing posing, and this guy took a couple of screenshots, and he posted them here. So as you can see, Nick's back is definitely looking much better. Obviously the photo in the left is not the one you should be looking at, it's like the wrong way of posing and when he improved his posing he did it the proper way which is the right photo and as you can see this back definitely does look great, it looks like a really good back. Now the photo quality is not very good, the shadow is not really falling the way it's supposed to, you can't really see much, it's not really a high quality photo I know but it is something. And you can see the silhouette, you can see that his lats are popping more than they used to. And you can see the lower mid lats, and they are separated more than they have been. So he definitely gained a lot of muscle in those lats. We all know that he has huge arms, and here they're looking humongous, even bigger than last year. But the back does look improved for sure. 
Now, the back was not really like a genetic weakness for him. I think it was mainly like a training thing. And I think it was just only a matter of time when his back is gonna improve and finally grow and match the rest of his physique. And I think that's gonna be this year. I think his back is going to look much better. Again, I don't really have him winning the Mr. Olympia or getting much higher than top 5 because of his structure. He doesn't really have the aesthetic physique, he's, he has a pretty ugly physique, let's be honest, he's freaky as hell, but not aesthetic, he's pretty ugly, so because of that, I don't really see him placing higher than 5, but again, top 5 with the Mr. Olympia is a great result. Am I contradicting myself by saying he's going to place 5th again, even though he improved his back, his arms, his chest and his legs for sure? No, because there are some other heavy hitters that might crack the top 5, top 6 of the Mr. Olympia, like Andrew Jack, like Samson Dauda. There are others too, it's gonna be a stacked lineup and the other guys in the top 5 may have improved, so... I don't know, we'll see what's gonna happen, but again, even though Nick improved, I don't really see him placing higher than top 5, I could be wrong. If you guys disagree or you have some kind of comment, tell me down below in the comment section. That's just my opinion, I don't think he's aesthetic enough and I think that hurts him. But let's not talk about that any further, let's focus on what we have right here. And I talked a little bit too much about Nick Walker in this video. I think it is a very interesting topic and I had some things I wanted to say, so if you guys enjoyed this part of the video, give this video a thumbs up. Now let's move on to a new physique update of our current Mr. Olympia, Big Ramy. yeah, we got another one. This year we have so many updates of Big Ramy. this is weird, this is starting to feel weird, we never had this many updates of Big Ramy. I don't know what happened to him, but he decided to bury us with physique updates, and in this one he looks good. Unlike Nick, he is already pretty conditioned, hard, there are lines, there is vascularity, and he did something that Nick is known for doing, he pulled those pants a little bit way too <laughs> low, but also, just like Nick, he's showing us his tiny waist, and Big Ramy is kind of known for having a small waist, I mean, relatively speaking, compared to the rest of his physique, compared to his enormous quads and his super wide and super massive shoulders. So in that sense, Big Remy does have a small waist, especially when he takes these kind of photos, you know, under the light that he chooses uh, in his bedroom or wherever, and with this angle, and Nick is also taking these photos with this angle, he lifts the camera up a little bit. Now, if he was taking a photo of his legs too, his legs would look smaller. If you take a photo with a, with a camera a little bit higher, your legs look smaller, but your waist also looks small. And that is what Big Ram is trying to accomplish, taking this photo, just like Nick uh, tried with that uh, selfie, with that mirror selfie. Here, as you can see, Big Ram does look pretty small in that waist, but I don't really care much about that. We know what his waist is gonna look like on stage. He can't really changes too much in like a year, I mean, his waist is the way it is, he can't change his bone structure, what he can do though is learn how to control his stomach, and he can do the vacuum, which is gonna create an illusion of having a smaller waist, and that kind of stuff, really, but he can't change the, the structure. So we already know, Big Remy has a decent sized waist, as far as like the chest and the shoulders, you can see he looks pretty hard, pretty full, and he's dieting, he's getting conditioned, so he looks great, at 14 weeks out he looks awesome, Nick does not look this good right now, I'm sure Nick is gonna look much better at the Mr. Olympia when he gets completely ready, but if you're talking about who looks good right now, Big Remy absolutely does, unlike Nick I have to say. Oh yeah, we also got a back update of Big Ramy. Now, this is also very interesting because Big Ramy is also kind of known for not really having the best back. Now, his back is super massive, super wide, but compared to the rest of his body, it is his weak link because of his high inserted lats. And you can see it here, of course, he can't change his back completely in a year, that's not really something he's trying to do, I'm sure, what he's trying to do is bring as good of a combination of, of fullness and conditioning, and that's all he needs to do really in this lineup, he doesn't need to improve his uh, muscularity, no, he doesn't need to change how his back looks, he just needs to bring conditioning and come as big as full as possible at the same time and that's all he needs to do in order to three-peat to win that third Mr. Olympia title.
Here's a photo from a little bit different angle. And based on the way these photos are looking and based on the way he's prepping and we can see that he's focused, that he's already training with Dennis James and uh, Chad Nichols is saying that he's going to be the best version of Big Remy ever. Everything considered, we can all be pretty sure that Big Remy is bringing something really, really good. And uh, can he be beaten if he brings something really good? With all the tools he's got, I don't think anybody can beat him. I think we're gonna have a three-time Mr. Olympia champion, Big Remy. Is he gonna retire after he wins the third title? I'm not sure. There are rumors about that. Maybe, maybe he's planning on doing that and focusing on business and family, maybe. But if he wins the third title, maybe something is gonna change about his thinking. Maybe he's gonna realize that he has potential to accomplish something really great. Maybe he's gonna get hungrier. Maybe he's gonna want to like tie the record with Jay Cutler, then maybe with Dorian Yates. Then you have Phil Heath with seven titles and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then you have Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney with eight. Can Big Remy win eight titles or more? Who, who knows? Who the hell knows? That's something we cannot predict, but can we predict whether he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia this year or not? I think we can be pretty, pretty sure, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be pretty accurate when I say he's going to win the Mr. Olympia again. What do you guys think? Next up, as I said, we have a physique update of Mikhail Krizo. He just posted this on his social media, on his IG, and as you can see, his conditioning is definitely coming along. At four weeks out, it does look very good. It looks great. He is very well conditioned for four weeks out, and I have no doubt that in four weeks, he's going to be just completely ready to win that amateur freaking show. And I talked about this before. I just feel so sorry for all those amateurs. I feel like it's pretty stupid that this guy, the best elite pro, IBB elite pro competitor, that basically has no competition in IBB elite pro. He was always like miles ahead of everybody when he was winning those pro shows and now he needs to compete against the amateurs and some of those amateurs are hoping to win a pro card and they are not gonna they're just gonna compete for fun and <laughs> this guy is going to win everything and after he wins that pro card he's gonna have a pro debut it's gonna be EVLS Prague Pro, which is about eight weeks from now or four weeks after his amateur show. So I'm guessing he's probably not gonna push conditioning too crazy for the amateur show, but he's definitely going to push it. He's gonna have to push it for the pro show for his pro debut. And we never really saw this guy completely shredded on the stage. He always looked great, but it was mainly because of his genetics, because of his insane shape and proportions and, and the structure and everything like that, muscularity, but not because of conditioning. He was decently conditioned, but he was never peeled. And he didn't need to be peeled, because the other guys that he was competing against were like levels below him. Now, however, he's gonna have some more serious competition. Like Brett Wilkin, for example, may be coming in Brett. Brett is a really good bodybuilder. He is a serious professional. And he's definitely going to push Michal Krizo. Who's going to win? I'm, I'm betting on Michal. If he brings good conditioning. If he comes really spot on. And based on this photo that we are looking at right now. He kind of looks flattish. You know, he looks flat a little bit. And he never, he, he rarely gets flat in his preps because he never really goes very hard. And I think this time around, he wants to bring serious package, serious conditioning. So he flattened out a little bit. And I think that is great. I think that's how you get seriously conditioned. I'm sure he will fill up nicely when the time comes. And uh, I have this guy winning a pro card and a pro show. And I think we'll see him at a Mr. Olympia. I'm pretty confident, even though Brett Wilkin is coming. And Brett is really good as well. But I don't know if Brett is going to do the EVLS Prague Pro or only Romania. And Michal said that if he wins Prague Pro, he's not going to do Romania. So I think that's probably how it's going to be. Michal is going to win uh, Prague Pro and Brett is going to win Romania. I don't know if you're going to see these guys, both of them, on the same stage at once. I hope so, but we'll see. Anyways, right now, Michal Krizo looks like he's seriously working on his conditioning. If you ask me, he looks great, a little bit flat, but that's all part of the process. But whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, of course. And if you want to support me, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.